What's up guys? This is the Rifleman and I am back to bring you to the next episode of my Empire Total War Let's Play is the United States of America. And in this episode we have landed in Panama and the Mexican forces have attempted to try and intercept our troops before they can make it off the beach. However, I don't think they are going to have uh, a very successful time at pushing us back. Lots of the troops are quite badly depleted and they have very yeah, they have a considerable amount of light artillery, but nothing heavier than that. So let's get cracking. Uh, we are still in the position that our, we want to focus on invading. Um, we're securing the rest of, of South America. While also building up and preparing for a massive invasion of Europe. All at once. Although we could potentially go via... Uh, Sweden and Norway, but let's let's not get ahead of ourselves. Let's deal with the the problem at hand at the moment. Fighting through in the town again, like I keep keep saying, it's not really my favourite approach because there is so much firepower you're able to pump out from troops once you've got your research done that I really don't like constraining them to fighting inside the towns. Okay, let's get cracking. We've also got to bear in mind that the enemy reinforcements could come in from a different direction, which it looks like they may well do. Skirmishes up here. Get my cavalry up here. To be honest, just unlimber my. will limber up my artillery. Because it's going to kind of be a bit useless back here. Just keep moving up. So the small unit of frontiersmen may attempt to engage us, but they'll be swept back by our troops. Although if I was being aggressive... Come on. Oh no, it's not going to let me deploy them like that. Advance at speed, keep my Republican Guard in the town because they're able to fight a bit more hand to hand. Be really aggressive, try and push up our line as much as we can. We may have triggered an, an enemy attack. It appears as though the enemy wants the enemy general wants to charge our Republican Guard. Form a double square. Well, so you don't have to worry about forming square. You can just attack the general's bodyguard as they try and break it. Square has been pulled to, pulled to. It's been pulled out of shape quite dramatically, but the square is being reformed. We can advance aggressively. We can try and trap their army as it enters the field. Although we're going to get into lots of scraps. Oh, there we go. They want to join in as well.
ignore my general's bodyguard, get my... Okay, you guys... You can prob... Uh, the, the church is in the way a bit. Maybe more like here. Square is held. Republican Guard are charging in. Start advancing our line forward. There you go. You men get out of square. Both of you engage the colonial line. I got a volley off into my dragoons, but it's not enough. Send my heavy cavalry in. Charging headlong into the colonial light. Sure, you want to do that? Are you sure about that? My heavy cavalry will win that engagement. See, they're still pushing in. The amount of tribal auxiliary have done. They keep putting volleys into my dragoons because they keep running around like this, like away from them rather than actually engaging them. You go keep killing them. Just see if we can shatter them. If not, let's get up to these trees. Excellent. The enemy left flank is, is crumbled, although they have auxiliaries that are engaging us from the mist, so we can push up to close range. come back and go after our artillery perhaps let's bring a regiment of horse back to cover our guns these dragoons haven't done a superb job there we go we advanced exposed their native musketman auxiliary put them they were now they then became vulnerable okay let's maintain our aggressive positioning advance right up into the muzzle of their fire how it says unlimber put artillery unlimber like this how it's fire is going to be engaging us quite close Ooh, devastating volley it's the end of them Open fire. 
push forward. I think there are enemy bowmen somewhere. We can keep advancing. Just get my art get all my artillery just to keep attacking ground. Front of the line, just keep bombarding them. see them from there. You gonna go in for the bayonet charge? Let's go get him. All that artillery fire is going to do some good work in upsetting people. Bayonet charge. Sweep them off the field. Charge them. Skirmishers are picking off men as they flee. We've killed their general. Slaughter these militia as they run through your formation. Excellent. Ceasefire. Oh, doesn't matter. Excellent. So that's the garrison of Panama. Quite badly beaten up. Nice. They have... 1,107 men, men remaining. We have still more than 2,000. The army's been pushed back. Very nice. Okay, at least now, thanks to the uh, Mexicans taking Santo Domingo, it means we can take that without causing um, a lot of undue, undue stress. Oh, let's just auto that. It'll be a loss, but let's just... If we run away, all they'll do is chase us down. It'll take forever. Nope. No regions being given up, Prussia. Get on your bike. There's a Maratha stack on the way somewhere. I mean, it's kind of inevitable. I think we are going to have to invade mainland India. Because we aren't. They are just not going to let us um, get away with this. They're not going to let us um, have a lovely empire in the, the Americas. If they've not got an enemy to fight, they'll just start sending invasion forces to try and attack you. So you end up needing to invade India, whether you particularly want to or not. So, yeah. I think that's what we're going to do. It's what we have to do, really. Unless, well, no, unless we could go down the same route as what we've done elsewhere, we just effectively um, dominate the dominate their coastline so that they aren't able to ship forces overseas. I think that's probably a a good way to do it because I don't want to invade India because that's what we're doing in the um, that's what we're doing with the Grand Columbia campaign. You know, we have just started to invade, so I don't really want to be doing the same thing again. Really. So that's why I'm, I'm content to not invade Western Europe and instead invade Eastern Europe. You know, potentially go for Norway, go for Britain, go for Finland. Attack Russia from the north and start to try and surround the Austrian Empire rather than meeting it head on. Because right now we're in, in Grand Columbia, we're pushing west to east. I don't just want to do the same thing again. Russia's a good option to invade, although to be honest it might be worth trying to invade the Ottoman Empire, push across to Cairo, get into the Middle East, take out Persia, and then start to potentially encroach on the Marathas from the northwest, potentially. 
It's all to play for, but I think naval dominance has to be the way to go in the first instance. So we need to take you, send you over to India to go fight whatever forces they have. Be destroyed. Yeah, one thing I did note was this. Bring these ships back to the Americas so we can get them repaired and put into proper force. Okay, repair. Sir. Troops forward. Okay, max out the buildings in London. Put some fortifications. Okay, can this force can Osbert? Now they can't leave Texas that's just ready. yet, so that's why we need. Nathaniel Green to march down here to threaten New Mexico from the north. The spy can carry on. So you can get on to Antigua. A small Mexican fleet is attempting to blockade us. Take Evan J's force. Embark them and they will sail for Santo Domingo. Excellent, and this will be ours. We're not going to let anyone take it from us. Okay, this, your, your recruitment here is ongoing. You've got skirmishes, you've got one unit of cavalry, you need some more interesting heavy cavalry. That'll, that'll do, plus one unit of infantry. Get a volunteer infantry regiment, why the hell not? So, we've got machine rifling, onwards to shrapnel shot, we've got steam pump land drainage, and onwards to threshing machine. Yep, I agree with both of those, that's a good idea. I think for the most part, we've upgraded as much of the stuff as we can in the Americas, except for that uh, mill. Sloop. Actually, let's check. Yes, I thought as much. Conrad Coulson, let's get your ships into Yorktown for repair. We can start to build up more fleets. Awaiting further orders. Excellent. Thirteen thousand. Ready for orders. Okay, let's start off recruiting another army in Boston. Apologies for that. It was the postman. Uh, right, so this force is going to soon be ready for dispatch. Probably going to having to dispatch them to... Uh, yeah, we'll, it'll probably end up being Europe, I think, is what we'll, is what we'll probably end up attacking next. Um, we could probably do with taking out the the Knights of St. John and then secure another island base against the against the Ottomans. Okay, I think. Hmm. I think more of these ports are going to need uh, militia guarding them rather than sloops to provide more options for repairing ships. So for example, you're going to go attack, which is just ob obliterate this fleet. Repair for action! 
Raid. Go back Ready to here. Wait. Go for repairs. Put the galley back into Marseille. Put a galley back onto blockading. No, oh, where are you? No. <laughs> Get the galley out to blockade Nice. At some point, you need to attack the Venetians. Okay, let's do a bit of okay, a bit of a diplomacy check. Really, Let, what makes sense? Mexico, the Marathas, and Britain. The Marathas are currently very friendly, so let's see if we can get peace. Nope. Fair enough. And we're at war with Austria. So I think I want to... I might actually go... Or do I go all in to just destroy the Marathas as quickly as possible? That's an option. That definitely is an option. I think we do that while we're also securing the Americas. So we can demand the Siege of Panama because they have no garrison. And this army can replenish and be ready to move west. You're ready to invade Santo Domingo. You're heading south here. Pretty darn sure we don't have any upgrades. One thing we want to check is our minister for Europe. Still zero. Um, but yeah, this is actually this is going quite nicely. Swansea, let's put a craft workshop. I can't replenish. I can't repair um, Bristol. Let's recruit a handful of sloops to keep our um, blockade of the enemy coast in position. Probably have to dispatch one of these full stacks to sit here just to prevent um, British and Austrian access to the rest of the world seas. Apart from that, keep doing what we're doing. Uh, I'm going to redeploy you. You don't fit with my current plan. You're going to get put on a ship and sail to India, my boy. I'm not really bothered about trying to destroy this, the um, Mexican Navy. They can have at it, as far as I'm concerned. The effect they will have is minimal at best. Well, Grand Columbia's declared war on us because we have a border with them. I shouldn't have called my allies in to help. But they all back me anyway. Interesting. Interesting. But there we go. So now we've kicked off not the final war, because Spain is still an active participant on our side. But we now have the full-on war in South America that we desired. Spain is invading Ceylon. That's really good. They, they're demanding tax for peace. Counteroffer. Flat rate for peace. Yeah. <laughs> they accepted it. I really want to see if Spain gets Ceylon. Because that would be really fun if they do. I mean, if Spain wants to invade the Marathas, that will be brilliant. Oh, yes, you were going to go up here to defend the um, Spanish, weren't you? Yes, you're going to stay stay there in that instance. Russia's going to send amphibious troops to land near Konigsberg. Oh, no, not Konigsberg, St. Petersburg. That's a, a three. Are they going to do it with a third? That's potentially a four. Well, that's a, that one. Now it's officially a three stack naval amphibious invasion. No, they've not landed.
I think they're going to go somewhere. They want. They want to. Uh... Where are you going? That's fascinating. I mean, I want to say they're going to go attack Russia, but they can't take Crimea because the Crimean Khan owns the Crimean Peninsula. It's, that's really interesting. I really want to see what they're going to do. Because the AI normally doesn't do such enormous amphibious assaults. They typically just... They might send the odd stack here and there. They don't normally send enormous um, enormous forces. So it doesn't mean that when we invade India, because you made peace with Britain, we're going to pick somewhere, one of the larger cities near the coast. That's going to be what... That's going to be our target. Potentially Mysore. Mysore is quite a good a good base to operate from. A big thing will be where their um, where their open ports are. Well, what are you doing out here? Okay, if we've got an open port, we can land and capture a city in one turn, rather than landing, giving them an opportunity to respond, and then and then capturing it or not, depending on what happens. Hmm. Russia's got something to think about. I wonder if it has anything to do with that. those invading Russian stacks. Potentially. <laughs> but whatever it is they're doing, they seem to be taking their time thinking about it. Punjab, Norway... Natural causes. Nathaniel Green finally carked it. Don't worry, he's been replaced by Leopold Fletcher. Harvesting supplies. Excellent. More depleted ships. You're going to go to them. These heavyweights can come over here. You can take all of these light ships. Take ready. Orders. Orders, Captain. Effectively, we're just uh, stacking up lots of trade fleets that we don't really have a huge use for. Okay, and then you're going to need some third rates to balance that out. Peace treaty side with Britain. We lost trade with Colombia. Got a Protestant missionary in England. So let's get them on board a ship. And then sail that ship to India rapidly. You can protect Greenwich. Then we can repair Bristol. Sir, your orders. Ultimately, I might take if we're going to deprioritize the European theater. Sir. Let's get cracking with an Indian invasion. I think. So you're going to raid Brest just to make sure that it does, that it is broken. Then I think even you are going to go pick up Riley Grimes. Go over to India. The fleet can. The militia stays here. The fleet can protect Greenwich for the time being. Lots of ports blockaded from the enemy, but I'm not that bothered about it. There's a Grand Colombian force, Ignacio Costa. It's 
small force. Once we take Santo Domingo, we'll then invade Caracas. Take that, push on, take Bogota. Did Spain take Ceylon? We don't know yet. You're probably I want I would like to try land near Mysore. Upgrade you, upgrade you. Upgrade the infrastructure and the cloth mill. Okay, let's go after yes. Santo Domingo. Let's capture another Mexican outpost. We can add a lot more resources to our trade empire, but then as we start to expand and declare war on more people, um, our trade empire becomes both bigger and smaller at the same time. <laughs> but that's okay. Yeah, this force can take Santo Domingo, get it under our control, invade South America. We have no choice but to attack through the town. Let's deploy my artillery off axis just to try and bombard whatever targets they can. This can be this can be bloody. Okay, let's group you five together. You can push through the town. Four units sweep around the blank with skirmisher support. Then we get Lee's Legion. So this is one of the DLC units that I can recruit uh, for some reason compared to some of the others that I can't. Make sure they're firing well off for the time being. Get a regiment of horse ready to whip around the other flank. Enemy cavalry is advancing forward at speed, but that is fine. Air advance towards the bowmen. Yes, and Lee's Legion, give them a volley. Light infantry have lost <laughs> that light cavalry have lost almost their entire cavalry wing in one go. Two units of native bowmen auxiliary shattered. Delicious. Flank attack went superbly well. Lee's Legion pushed them towards the mounted tribal auxiliary. Okay, send the Republican Guard into the native musketry. The US Marines into the six pounders. Same with the line infantry, and this line infantry unit advance and threaten the general. Republic of the US Marines. They look pretty nice. Republican Guard are charging in ahead of them. Bring my cuirassier back. Engaging the bowmen at point blank range. These legion need some backup against the tribal auxiliary. Kind of in range, but let's advance. Up. More 
fisticuffs involved. Yes, yeah, there we go, let's get them involved. These legion fire will off, push them around the flank. Skirmishers try and chase down the native bowmen, they did not like being charged. Make ready and fire, man! Exceptional hits against the Firelock Armed Citizenry. Is still ongoing. Even advance towards the firelock arm citizenry. Get the howitzers to specifically target some of our infantry, not this musket fight, not this melee fight, rather. Artillery, foot artillery, keep engaging the general's bodyguard. Set the marines up to fire against those guys. Go on, US marines, form up and engage them with volley fire. Excellent. We can now advance and surround the remaining enemy force. Go on, you men. Make ready and fire. Oh, they're routing. bring the regiment of horse up that's currently been sat doing not very much. Okay, let's bring these two units back to help support the fight against the native troops. start to push other units up to surround and harass the general. His militia holding on valiantly, but it won't be enough. Go on, Lee's Legion. Pack them down. Oh, well, here come the troops. In support. Nice. The native auxiliary have broke. Fire comes on auxiliary are going to break. The general has done a smart thing and specifically charged my skirmishes, which it is a smart thing to do, but it won't save them. Bring over Lee's Legion. Bring over my Curacier. There's more of them. The cavalry, go get that unit of grenadiers. These infantrymen advance. Winning decisively, they believe. For long, you're not. They're starting to break already. Get in there. Where is he? There he is. Ping pong around. No, oh, he's going to get away. There you go. These legions should be able to ride him down. I think the Curacier might have got him. Hit 
hit the colonial line because they're coming back. You men push up rapidly. Friendly fire. colonial line are broken again okay, the, and then these guys are broken as well that's what you get that's what you get when you stand against the United States you get slaughtered and your territories become ours so let's take a contingent of infantry down to port of pay kill the troops that were sat there we don't need any military production here. Thank you very much. Excellent. And we don't need a Catholic school. We can get rid of that. Try build a Protestant religious building, but it remains to be seen how useful that will be. Mexico have raided Cuba. Oh, Mexican ships have raided Cuba. Fine. There's a Spanish force going down to try push them out. The interesting thing is what you guys are going to do. Because this force is actually a bit depleted. If they coordinate, could be in a bit of trouble. I mean, I say that. Humble <laughs> I have full army ready to deploy. So let's get them in. There is an enemy fleet nearby, which may complicate matters. Yes, it will complicate matters. So you're in for... You're being repaired. Officer? You're pretty good. Got lots of little ships. Let's try and combine... Oh no, there we go. Leslie Hook and his and his killer fleet. You can sweep the way clear. You need to... You need to keep building. And protect those ships to the north. Yes, Graziano Sotto. What the we're worried about them. First let's raid Cartagena, because that's their port. Aye, sir. Well, let's go in. Il Defonso de Balboa. For the prize. Stomp. Let's absolutely stomp them. We don't want any of these ships. We're going to cash them all in. We've got plenty of ships to trade with. We are not interested in ex expanding our fleet at the present moment. All we want to do is slaughter and kill. Heavies up front, followed by my bursts, and then a whole load of seconds. effectively want to run this way because they're going to try and turn into the wind against us which they're, they're going to want to eventually sail with the wind we do have some spanish ships coming in and they actually are coming in from a decent direction they may actually get here quite quickly but they are small ships bomb catch bomb catch brig brig compared to these fellas coming in Awesome, okay, let's just let this... I probably want to push towards them a little bit more. Nuestra Señora de Pilar de Zarazuga. Very nice. Santa Isabel, the galleon. I'm afraid, though, your puny fleet will be no match for... Well, is no match for our ships. 
I just want to. I'm going to take way way too much damage, and watch them just get their masts swept from their <laughs> from their ships. Because when you got an, a, when you've got a large ship against a series of smaller ships, uh, chain shot seems to be disproportionately effective at causing morale problems. Anyway, let's let things tick on. So I think the... Yeah, so if we can clear this fleet out, I can drop another force down to defend Panama. One can push northwest against Mexico, and one can push southeast against um, Gran Colombia, especially because Gran Colombia is only two regions. It is uh, Santo Domingo, Car Caracas, and in Bogota. So we'll be able to do some good stuff there. This can, these guys can be knocked out quite quickly. As soon as that's done, we want to send them to India to back up that invasion. Wait, what? The Admiral... Admiral was killed, presumably from like a chase gun being fired or the bomb catch. A minute. <laughs> there he is. There he is. The Admiral must have been... He must have got shot from a chase gun or something. That's a million to one shot. Okay, let's let Congress use, use chain just because it's a bit... Yeah, the amount of damage you can do to these smaller ships with chain shot is just absolutely glorious. See, the Spanish ships are committing. I mean, it could have been these guys with the bomb catch. They've got mortars, don't they? It could well have been them. These ships are absolutely packed full of crewmen. But yeah, that's exactly the reason why I don't like sending my admiral up front. That. They have to look at him now. Although well, very nicely, those Spanish ships are going to screw up my formation because they're going to heave to and to make way. Actually do that. Just let, let nature take its course. Cumberland's opening fire. You're routing. You're going to sail into somewhere to be engaged by Congress. Surrendered, I thought so. God, Spain's giving it millions. guys can engage. I mean, if Spain wants to go in and... Spain's gonna board! 
You do it, Spain. Let's take the back end of this fleet and send them this way. Spain boarding. 81 men versus 209. They're like, this is a great idea. There's no point just no point sailing ahead, just stop and shoot him. Yeah, just keep engaging. Keep firing at will. Send Nymph forward. Try to provide a bit of close support for this brig. Unsurprisingly, Spain has particular affinity for Santa Isabel. Push this ship forward a bit so we can fire across into San Pedro El Grande. Go on, man. It's the actual boarding action here. So the. <laughs> They've not even got weapons. They've got. I'm going to give you a right good clobbering, I am. <laughs> Their mallets as they shuffle. Oh, oh that's just bad. That's a great lovely sailing. Oh, God. They're getting it. That's daft. They got it. They surrendered. <laughs> The Spanish crew. Give us a cheer, lads! Ha ha! <laughs> Got it. That's dumb. This ship's had enough. Eventually they'll give up this formation because it just won't work. Can you sail on ahead? It's a bit it's a bit odd, they are actually they go to that partial broadside, they switch shot middle in between in the middle of the sh middle of the broadside and got the uh I mean let's yeah, let's let Spain Spain can go for it if they want. Take out some more masts. Now they now they're realizing. Are they boarding again? Well, they've been only boarding with twenty six guys. He's 
lost the very tippy top of his mast. There you go, surrendered. No, Spain's lost a ship. The Nueva España. Cut across. Lots of fire. Some of the Spanish ships they're still alive, they're still alive and kicking. You guys come this way. Round shocks and still feasibly hit. hit, hit. Beautiful. And only they get through, just start getting pounded by these ships here. You don't want to have your guns reloaded to get Mino if you can have your guns reloaded to go against San Juan. Actually, you might do. Come down. Oh, the main mast is gone. Gotta cross him. Hear the bomb catch firing. That must be a terrifying sight. If you're on the deck and you see this just slowly moving through the Koenig's on fire. Oh no, they've put it out. Nueva España is on fire. She's on fire big time. Get away. Surrendered. Your camera on top. There we go. So you wait and you manoeuvre down here. <laughs> so many of these ships to chew up. can heal over that would be super duper round shots you can try and engage San Rafael Oh, 
you're aiming at Santa Rosa, not the full mast off. That's not bad. Surrendered. Never ending war. Guns reloaded. Let's see if we can knock out the main mast. Got it. And you whip around like so. Bomb catch from Salibi. Reis still ongoing. Olympus engaged with Santa Rosa. Combatant on fire. Surrendered. Try to cut across between these two ships. Sweep, sweep the uh, mass off of this brig. Looking the wrong way. You're routing right off the bat. Poor little brig. Amphion's ready, ready to engage. God, they're so tightly packed on here. to get the Sloop Familia. Real, real Familia. <laughs> just like a plague of locusts, we worked down their fleet and just chewed them up. <laughs> Very nice. And we're not going to claim a single one. Twelve grand, please. Excellent. You put into Barbados for repairs. Exceptional work, Leslie Hook. Ships orders. Yeah, you combine. Now our forces can land. Uh, that's just a couple of regular ships I can grab. This fleet, just to bottle them up. Hello. You not bottling them up, Spain? Two bomb catches. Uh, I can't really leave them like that. I don't know why I'm, well, I'm curious about why it's not these guys don't have the rain the uh the legs to get that far okay those constituents do then you men catch up so then you can drop your troops offshore Okay, let's sink some money into Santo Domingo just to make sure it's 
firing on all cylinders. Excellent. Reginald Blackwood is building his force. Ready. March. Ready. Okay, I might actually start preemptively recruiting some extra generals. Okay, you're ready. You want a native musket unit. Then that's your lot. Um, but yes, yeah, looking at the timer, I believe it's time to end the episode. So, thanks for watching, guys. Hope you've enjoyed. And we'll see you next time for the next episode of my Empire Total War Let's Plays the United States, starting from a clean turn. See you next time, everyone.